So in the video I'm about to show you, I replaced the coolant reservoir in a 2001 330XI BMW. I did it curbside so that traffic noise is kind of loud, but I wanted to show you first what the reservoir looks like and what you'll be doing to take it apart. Now this one blew the top off and so that was removed, but when you're looking at this thing inside your car, you're gonna be looking at it from the top here, like this. And there's a hose that you're gonna disconnect from here. And then on the bottom here, the only thing to disconnect is an electrical connection here and this. This has a rubber ring in it that just presses onto a part. So that's it. You can do that without doing, un, un, is, you can do it without removing the bottom plate. I guess if your hands are small enough, mine, mine are not small, but they actually were able to do it. So I wasn't, I didn't have to go underneath the car and do anything. Up top here, there's also gonna be a hose coming off the thermostat on the engine and connecting here and then connecting to the radiator hose there, which you'll see once the video starts. But to remove this thing, all you have to do is remove this upper hose, this hose, you have to reach down, pull this out, and then you can reach underneath here and press down the electrical connector and just pull that out. And then there's nothing else to removing it. When installing it, this is the little nub you have to be aware of, that that gets pushed into a little hole, which I'll show you in the video. We're gonna replace the coolant reservoir. First thing you wanna do, push that down, pull it out, and unscrew that. And remove this from the air box. And you're going to remove those two screws and take the air box out. Once these are taken out, that's loosened, that's taken off. You can disconnect this thing. This whole unit should pull right out. As we look at this coolant reservoir tank, you can see something is wrong because the fluid level indicator is sticking out the side. Definitely not normal. That should be poking up out of the top here. So at this point, I'm gonna pop these up. Here, there. I'll pull this thing out, disconnecting it from the reservoir tank. Releasing this one, disconnects it from the radiator. Releasing that one, disconnects it from the reservoir. We also have one down here that we have to do. And then two underneath, we'll remove this out of the way. That should not come apart. That should be sealed to that. And here's the fluid indicator, completely bent. If you can reach in here, down here, you can pull this plug out. You can reach around this side and pull. But essentially, it's that part out. And then you've got this thing up and out to remove. And then you can just pull this free and lift it out. There's a thermostat here you're going to want to replace. And then you just press the new one in. Press the new coolant reservoir in. Getting this thermostat out is difficult. I've been resorting to, you don't want to use anything that'll press up against this edge. So I've been putting a screwdriver in there and prying it up a little and that seems to be working. It's not pretty, but this is what's left of the coolant reservoir thermostat. Uh, you gotta make sure you get all the pieces out of there, but these plastic parts basically just break down over time and fall apart if you try and pull them out. 
but so the got new it. one is in. The new thermostat. Press it down till it seats itself. It'll go past a rubber washer. Next, put in the coolant reservoir. In the coolant reservoir, there's a little nub there. That gets fit right into this area here. So when you're pressing this down onto the two openings down here, you want to make sure it's pressed up against there and that thing goes into that hole here. Right there. Let's press the new one in, pushing it up against the side there to make sure that pin gets put in place. Press it down. Make sure it's locked by pressing the lever in on the bottom. And then try pulling up on it to see if it comes up, see if it's locked. If it doesn't, you're good. And reconnect hoses and fill it up with water. Reconnect these hoses by just pressing them on until those clips connect. Reconnect the wire down here. Let's see. Reconnect this hose. Press it on. Push that down. Pull on it to see if it's secure. Put the air cleaner back on. Reconnect electrical. Fill it with coolant and you're good to go.